So we will start with the discussion of uh, queues in system wedlock. So basically in system wedlock, a queue is a variable size ordered collection of homogeneous elements. All the elements are of the same type. Okay. All the elements are of the same type. Unlike the static arrays and dynamic arrays, the size of the queue can change dynamically during the runtime as elements are added or removed. Queues provide a powerful flexible data structures that operates like free for first in first out or last in first out mechanisms depending on how you manipulate the elements. Okay, so there are some important points in this definition. So we'll first mark it out and let's discuss in detail. So a queue is a variable sized order collection. So it is a variable sized like dynamic arrays. This queues is also variable sized okay and it is a uh, collection of homogeneous elements homogeneous elements means all the elements are of same type like if the all the elements are of either logic type logic data type or inter data type or anything okay so they should be of same data types unlike the static arrays and dynamic arrays the size of the queue change uh, can change dynamically during the run time okay so the size of the queue can change dynamically during the runtime as the elements are added and removed okay so this is also a very very important point and the queues provide a powerful flexible data structure that operates like a free for first in first out or last in first out so in case of dynamic arrays what's happening in case of dynamic arrays during the compile time during the compile time we are not allocating the size we are not allocating the size of dynamic array okay we are not doing this during the runtime itself what we are doing we are allocating the size of the dynamic array with the help of the keyword new so with the help of the keyword new we are allocating the size of this dynamic array during the runtime but in case of queue in case of queues what's what will happen is uh, same like the dynamic array we will not uh, declare the size of the queue during the compile time during the runtime we will not allocate the memory like in the case of dynamic array like for suppose in case of dynamic arrays we will in the runtime we will give dyn is equal to new of 20 like that we will give right so in the case of dynamic arrays we are we are basically allocating the memory and then we are inserting the elements into this dynamic array without allocating the memory we are not inserting the elements into the dynamic array but in the case of q we will not allocate any memory the memory is allocated when we insert the element itself okay when we insert the element the memory is, is being allocated the memory is allocated and it is increased or decreased automatically accordingly uh, whether we insert or delete the element from the queue let's say so for example if we have a queue like this let's say this is our queue and let's say uh, if we have just declared a queue and we have not allocated any memory to this queue okay so during the runtime what we will do directly we will insert the element let's say if we insert the element one into this queue then the size of the queue will be equal to one and if we insert another element let's say two then the size of the element uh, then the size of the queue will be equal to two and if we insert the third element then the size of the queue will automatically increase it to three so there will be three memory locations uh, sorry there will be three memory locations created okay so like this uh, the size of the memory will be exp uh, expanded accordingly as we insert the elements into this queue and what happens if we remove the elements from the queue then the size of this queue will automatically decrease okay so like this if we try to insert any element into this queue the size of the memory will be increased or if we try to remove the element from the queue the size of the memory will be decreased automatically okay is this clear Can we move forward? Yeah. Now, coming to the key characteristics, variable size. The size of a queue can grow or shrink dynamically as the elements are inserted or deleted. So the size of the queue will grow or shrink dynamically as the elements are inserted or deleted that we have discussed now on. And operations. Queue supports operations such as adding elements to the front or back, removing elements and querying the queue size okay so this we will see in upcoming slides so the, so these are the key characteristics of a uh, queue so this is the declaration of a queue uh, so this this is a syntax for how to declare a queue so 
similar to dynamic arrays first we will write the data type followed by the queue name it may be any name followed by dollar symbol in a square brackets so this is the syntax of declare uh, syntax or the declaration of a queue okay so for example if you want a queue of logic data type then you will write logic and the name of the queue will be q1 followed by dollar symbol so this is how you will declare a queue okay so what is the memory allocated to this queue at this particular stage no memory allocated right so during the compiled stage no memory is allocated for this queue during the runtime when we insert any element then the memory will be allocated for this particular queue okay now so let's see some of the built in methods in this queues so first method is size so with the help of this size we can actually yeah so the first built in method uh, in this queues is size so with the help of the uh, this function size we can get to know the size of the queue how to use it uh, let's say if we have declared any integer called size of queue that will store the size of the queue and uh, i will this is my queue this is declared somewhere in the top instantiation so let's say suppose we have declared this logic my underscore queue like this we have declared somewhere so if we want to know the size of this queue we will use the function dot size so basically this will return the size of the queue okay next insert so if you want to insert any value into the queue let's say suppose if you have declared a queue called my underscore queue let's say int my underscore queue dot okay so this is during the compile time and during the run time if you want to insert any value so you can use the method or the function called insert so basically this will insert the elements into the particular index so the first position is index and the second position is value remember this so the first position will be index and the second position will be value let's say suppose if you have a queue like this 2 3 0 1 2 3 so if you want to insert a element 42 in the index 1 so here you want to insert a uh, element 42 so what you will do simply my underscore queue that is a queue name dot insert followed by the index number followed by the value you want to insert like that you can insert any element into this queue and if you want to delete any element from uh, if you want to delete any element from a particular index you can simply use this method dot delete okay so let's say if you have inserted 42 in the index 1 and if you want to delete that uh, value from that particular index you can simply write my underscore q dot delete of 1 okay so the element which is present inside the index uh, sorry at uh, the index 1 will get deleted that's it next next method which is available is push underscore back so this will act uh, so let's say this is our queue with some memory locations so let's say this is our front and this is back how am deciding front and back with the help of indexes so this is index 0 1 2 3 so the side corresponding to the index 0 is called front and the side corresponding to the index last index is called back okay so if i want to insert any element from the back then i can use the method push underscore back okay so uh, the queue name here is my underscore queue okay so if i want to insert any element from the back of the queue then i will use the method push underscore back and i will uh, insert the element okay so what happens if we write like this an element 100 will be inserted at this position okay so like this we will insert any element by using the uh, method built in method push underscore back okay next we also have uh, another method called push underscore front for pushing an element into the queue from front okay so let's say this is our queue call my underscore queue 
and let's say this is 0 1 2 3 so where is friend now here this is a friend okay and if you use a built-in function push underscore friend the element will be inserted like this okay so like this the element will be inserted from the friend so here we are uh, pushing the element phi from the friend so it will be inserted here phi okay next pop underscore back and pop underscore friend basically pushing from front or back you are basically inserting an element okay you are basically inserting the element whereas pop operation from front or back you will basically you are going to delete that element or uh, delete in the sense uh, it will be erased this is not exactly deleting uh, it is basically you are uh, getting that element out of the queue and you will be collecting outside okay so let's say this is our queue so if you have any element here and you want it outside so you are basically doing pop operation and you are getting that element outside of that queue and you are collecting uh, outside by declaring a integer or uh, according to the data type of the queue okay so coming to the pop operation uh, you can use the keyword or the built-in method pop underscore back and pop underscore friend what happens in pop underscore back the element will be removed from the queue from the back of the queue so let's say this is our queue and this is 0 1 2 3 4 so where is back and front this is front and this is back okay so my underscore queue dot pop underscore back so the element which is present at the last index will be given out okay so let's say here 6 is present it will be given out uh, let's say 1 2 3 4 so what happens uh, the element is given out so it is uh, removed out then what will be the size of the queue whether it will be of five memory locations or whether it will be four memory locations what will be the size after performing pop underscore back operation any guess any answer what is the size of the queue after performing pop underscore back operation 4 sir yes why because queue is dynamically contrasting or expanding according to the uh, elements which are inserting or being removed so if we are removing the element from the queue basically queue will automatically adjust its size and it will uh, contrast okay so if there is no element present here then the size of the queue will be decreased okay yeah so if we perform pop underscore back operation the element will be removed from the queue and uh, it will be stored outside and pop underscore friend you can remove the element from the front of the queue so if this is the queue and 0 1 2 3 4 0 is a first index so this is a friend and if any element 10 is present here so if you uh, perform this operation pop underscore friend then this 10 will be uh, removed out of this queue and same in this case also the queue size will be automatically decreased so this is about uh, queues in system develop so in this session we have started with the topic queues in system develop where we have discussed the syntax of the queue and the built-in methods of the queue and how the size of the queue is automatically changing changing according to the elements which we are inserting or deleting from the queue so a queue can also be act uh, as a fifo or lifo so how it can be act as a fifo or lifo how okay so okay so if we want a queue to be acted as a fifo how to do that first in first out any idea so what is meant by first in first out the element which is inserted first 
should be removed first okay so if it if this is our queue 0 1 2 3 so the element which is inserted at the index 0 next element 1 will be inserted 2 will be inserted 3 will be inserted so to achieve this queue uh, to make this queue work as a fifo what we should do after inserting all the elements we should remove in order which we have inserted okay so what order we have followed 0 1 2 3 so what order we should follow to remove these elements from this queue we should also perform uh, the removal in the order like same which we have inserted so what we should do first we should remove the 0 at index element and first element second and third so like that we can achieve fifo next this is your task how to achieve this leaf operation okay so try answering this question so in next session we will discuss how to perform this leafo yeah so this is about queues in system wedlock so in this session we have discussed it with the basic syntax of queues and the key characteristics of queues and uh, some built-in methods which are present in the queues okay so that's all for this session so if you are having any doubts or queries you can stand ask me or else we can end this session thank you